Xenomo 1.15 has just been released, offering some important, new, and improved capabilities with a focus on providing a better performing dashboard experience overall, while introducing useful features that enterprises and MSPs can leverage to more efficiently manage admin users and their roles across multi-tenant and large enterprise Xenomo deployments. In this quick video, we are briefly going to explore what's new in this release. So let's get started. The first big addition to this release is a full-featured role-based multi-tenancy capability, including account and project sharing, which basically gives MSSPs and businesses role-based access control over their enterprise ZenArmor deployments across multiple projects, clients, or branch sites. Users can now be assigned the roles of owner, admin, operator, and viewer with an account session and full audit log feature, empowering administrators to view and manage active sessions with ease while monitoring all session information about the user. In addition to this, should a user make changes to a Xenarmor instance or policy setting, the changes are reflected in real time across all active sessions, which mitigates any potential configuration inconsistencies if multiple administrators or operators are present. In order to make the Zen Console dashboard even more responsive, the view U3.js framework for front-end web development has been implemented in this release, which is a lightweight, high-performing framework ideal for applications that need to display real-time data, like in the case of Zen Console. All your live session views, traffic graphs, and setting menus will feel more responsive, improving the overall user experience. Talking about graphs and charts, a few new ones have been added in this release, like the top location heat maps and remote host tables and so on. So go check those out. Other additions to this release are several new web and application filtering categories that have been introduced that are fairly self-explanatory, including THC and cannabis products and generative AI. I've also been told that we can be expecting more categories to come in future releases, so stay tuned for those. To keep this video short, I've left out quite a few of the other minor UI improvements and bug fixes. So if you're interested in this, go check out the release notes. I encourage you to support this video sponsor, Zenarmor. So go and install version 1.15 and experience the changes for yourself. If you are new to Zenarmor, I've included some links in the description to get you started. And please also don't forget to keep the algorithm happy by liking and subscribing and also having a look at my other cybersecurity content on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.